Good afternoon. It's the 24th of July. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Temperature is about 16. And I'm looking across the road to where the farmer farmers cut the grass a few days ago and the grass has been replaced by a number of uh, cows relatively young looking beasties and um, I'm going to combine this and do a sort of a wee update of where I am as regards my uh, Hip replacement operation. Things are going well. I had the operation uh, nine days ago and I'm standing outside the front door. I can I can uh, I can walk around the house using the crutches. Um, these crutches here I just got the one out actually. These crutches have become my my closest friend <laughs> almost uh, in the last week or so, uh, I don't go anywhere without them. Um, I either use two or one, so um, I'm, I'm doing okay. I'm quite mobile. Um, I, I'm trying to cut down on my uh, codeine consumption, painkiller consumption, and I've, I'm using uh, paracetamol rather than codeine, but I, I do take Coding uh, first thing in the morning, and I do take it a last thing at night. Um, sleeping, getting to sleep is, is a major problem. Um, I'm averaging three three hours a night. Uh, I'm very restless. I, I can't get comfortable. Um, you're you. The only way to, to to get to sleep is to be sitting up, and you're you've got a pillow between your legs to to stop you rolling over. Uh, and it's just, it's just very, very uncomfortable at night. Your leg, my left leg's jiggling about, and and uh, it's not cramp so much. It's just, um, I don't know. It's it's hard to explain. And then it goes into spasms, and you can't sl sleep in the same bed as the wife because you're going to keep her up all night as well. So I, I usually end up uh, on the sofa or. Or uh, another chair sitting up, uh, just trying to sleep. So that's uh, that's the major problem. I, I am taking, and and there's a huge amount of as the, as the healing process progresses, uh, there's a huge amount of itch. At least I'm finding it, and I'm taking peritin for the itch now. This is peritin has a great side effect because it it does make you wheezy and it, it does actually uh, aid my sleep. So that's not that's not too bad. Um, but I would I'd be up in the middle of the night two or three times and I would be on the computer sitting because I just, I just am wide awake and uh, the computer and, and uh, YouTube and stuff is a distraction. Uh, so Rome wasn't built in a day and, and little by little folks and, and, uh, and good and I'm, I'm, you know this, this operation I'm not making myself out to be a big fella or anything like that. It's not for softies. Uh, I am doing my exercises religiously, but this operation is not for softies. Uh, um, I'm glad I, I had the, you know, a good level of fitness, and I'm glad I didn't have to do this operation. I, I'm glad I did it now at 66 when I'm able to face it. Um, maybe in another five years it would have been much too difficult to face. Uh, I, I just don't know. So good on anybody in their 70s who has had an operation like this. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a toughie. So uh, there's my, my wee update uh, for all those. Who, and thank you very much. Thank you kindly for very much uh, for all those, uh, those posters who have, who have uh, kept in touch and, and left their good wishes and stuff. You know, it, it is much appreciated. It really is, folks. You know, uh, thank you very much. And I'm um, just going to give you a wee warning, advance warning, um, in a minute or two after this section of the video closes I'm going to put up 
a few photographs that were taken of my hip and the staples in it and the bruising. So if you're a bit, um, you know, queasy about things like that, uh, switch off now. Do not watch any more. Count to about 10 seconds. <laughs>